So this week, I'm going to deal with my Ludicia Discolor, which is a jewel orchid. Now, you can see one of the branch has grown way out of the pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this branch off and then I'm going to try and section it because I can see that I can actually section a few pieces from this branch itself. And I'm going to do a little experiment. Some of it, I'm going to pop it straight back into the substrate which consists of cocoa chips, charcoal, soil and sphagnum moss and I'll put one of it in water. So we will compare the growth rate or the rooting rate of the segments that's in the pot and in the water. Okay, so let me see. I have a pair of shears here which I have sterilized it over fire. I usually do that. I just pop it on my kitchen stove and burn it and then I'll let it cool off and then I'll use it. So I think here would be a good place to chop. Okay. So I have this really long piece here. This one, I'm just going to leave it like this. Soon, it will pop up. As you can see, I've done this before. And uh, on the side, at the notes, new plants will be popping up. Now, this jewel orchid grows really fast here, especially if you put it in bright light. It really likes the humidity. And I keep the substrate relatively moist. loves it look at the leaves i love the color is so rich love the red underside and the dark green close to black top side of the leaf look at this pretty isn't it really really fulfilling plants to grow here okay Let's deal with the cutting now. Now, let me see. I think I can get... You see this? Can you see this little nub here? That is... Uh, that could be a new root. Okay, so if I cut it somewhere here, and I plumb this into the substrate or into water, I'm sure it would root pretty easily. Actually, it's on every node. I can see potential on every node. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to do a cut here. Right here. So I have one segment and then let me see here I think that's a good place to have one I'm gonna try and cut it between the leaves so that I don't destroy any leaves all right yep it's a bit difficult to hold the camera in one hand and do the cutting on the other hand but I think this I think this leaf has not been destroyed okay so now I have two mid stem cuttings so uh, to be fair I'm going to put one of this in the water and one of this back into the substrate and see how it does okay so both already have some starter roots like this here. See? So it's quite fair. So one back into the substrate and one into the water. I will put this, this one into the water. And then... I'm just going to use my fingers uh, a little bit. 
bit of hole and then I'm gonna just push it in here oh I just broke a leaf such a klutz I'm such a klutz okay I'm just gonna push it back in here so hang on let me do something okay this looks a bit weird but I've just tied a ribbon round the new cutting so I know which one um, it is that I've stuck in here and then we can actually compare it in a few weeks in a couple of weeks and see how the root growth is compared to the one in the water I still have this one this looks like a really nice piece this one doesn't have roots yet so I am my instinct tells me that this one needs to hibernate in the water for a bit before the roots will come out so I'm just going to put it in together with this one so we have two in the water and one in the pot and then I will take you to where I'm going to put this to propagate follow me okay yes this is my toilet but I have a propagation station here so I have all my plants here and my toilet has a west-facing window so it's actually quite bright in here so this is going to be here for a little while now this is actually um, an old cabinet door which I DIY'd into this propagation center and many plants have grown up here <laughs> We'll see how the Ludicia discolor does. Okay, about more than a week has passed. So it's time to check on the rooting of the Ludicia discolor. Now, first of all, let me just remove this from the substrate and see whether it has rooted. Now, I spy a drying leaf here, so I don't think this one has rooted. Let me just see. So this leaf is broken. Okay. This was, this was the existing nub, and it's still a nub. This one is also still a nub. This one has grown slightly larger, I think, just but very slightly. So this one hasn't really rooted. Um, the roots are still looking like nubs. But um, the plant is still firm. Now this one has dried off because I think because the leaf has broken, so I'm just going to tear it off. The leaf has broken off the stem. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So let me just throw that away. So there is a forming of some roots here as well. Nubs. A few of them. So this one is just forming more nubs to become roots. Okay. It still feels firm to the touch. The good leaves are still quite sturdy. So which means this stem is still absorbing water, absorbing moisture from the soil, from the substrate. Okay, let's see how these are doing in the water. 
This one, if you remember, was from uh, the top, the top of the cutting, and this one didn't have any nubs to start with. So I put in the water. Uh, it's firm. It's very firm actually. So this one is absorbing more water than than this one, than this one here. But there are no signs of any root nubs. Okay, it's alive but it's not rooting. So this top part of the plant, the cutting, is not rooting. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, check it out. Okay, this one has some really nice roots. Although, I see some fluffy stuff around the root. I don't know what it is. Probably the... the these are probably um, the remaining fibers around the root when the root pops out. So, uh, it's the fibers from the stem. So, it's just rotting away. But you can actually see really nice looking roots from this node here and two from this node here. Theoretically, I can actually chop this part into two which means potentially I can have two plants here but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to root it as it is so the conclusion is for this experiment at least the one in the water is rooting far quicker than the one plumped straight into the substrate okay but this one uh, both of these have already had nubs when we planted it. This one we planted in the substrate and this one we put in water. So both of these already had nubs because they were from uh, the bottom of the stem. Now this one is from the top part of the stem and even if I put it in water, it has not developed any roots yet. So this one has to be in water for a longer time before the roots start developing. Now, I've had the exact same experience every time I tried this, okay? The one in the water roots faster than the one straight in the substrate. But the bottom part of the stems root faster than the top part of the stem. Now, some plants root better from the top of the stem where the stem is young. Some plants root better from the bottom of the stem where the stem is old. So for Ludicia discolor, I can safely say that it roots better the older the stem. Okay, that means if you pick a stem from the bottom uh, closer to the substrate, it roots better than a new stem. Whereas for something like um, something like a philodendron. I always feel that something like uh, these trailing plants, the philodendron or, or this uh, raphidophora, um, even um, yeah, all these creeping plants like this hastatum, philodendron hastatum, they all root better when the stem is young. Even for um, String of hearts. String of hearts, I feel that they root better when the stem is young, but not for the jewel orchid. Okay? This one, I'm going to put it in water now, okay, to encourage the root to come up faster. And this one will have to stay in water for a longer while for it to develop the roots. But this one has already rooted, and this is enough roots to be put in substrate so i'm going to put this in make a deep hole and put this in and um it will grow a new plant for me here and make this pot bushier now before i end this video i just want to show you two more jewel orchids that i have in my collection this is also a ludicia discolor but this is the elba ludicia discolor elba so it's all green it's a lovely design very nice. I love this very much. 
it's significantly smaller as you can see the stems are thinner uh, as compared to this one it's smaller but it grows as um, quickly as the red one actually even quicker because it's green and this one I grew from two cuttings two cuttings a friend gave me and this was from last year and this is another jewel orchid that I have this is a hybrid I cannot remember the name but uh, it's here so it has uh, the Ludicia Discolor Ancestry this is really really pretty this is quite miniature very small but the leaves oh my goodness look at the leaves it's, it's iridescent and it's got this lovely lovely design pattern on the leaf and it's a lovely color too and this one is flowering look at that look at that it's flowering I have this one little stem of flower here which is white I wonder if it opens I think it opens but it hasn't opened for me so anyway this is a really nice one to have and the stems look quite hefty as well even though the leaves are small so this one has a hefty stem and small leaves this one has larger leaves and thinner stems and this one has hefty leaves and hefty stems <laughs> okay so um i'm gonna stop here now i hope you've enjoyed this week's experiment on my jewel orchid and i hope it's helped some of you who are trying to grow this plant thank you so much for watching